we're talking about Abraham had other children other than Isaac. His first son was Ishmael of the flesh. <laughs> and then even after Isaac was born, he had other children by Kimura. But Isaac is the only son of the promise. And so that's what he's talking about. He said, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So all of the 12 tribes of Israel are of the seed of Isaac. But still we have to have faith, even though we're part of that promised seed. <laughs> Verse 8. That is, they which are, of the, are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God. And so people take this scripture out of context also because it says, they which are of the flesh, they're not the children of God. Not understanding the scriptures. The scriptures are only written to the chosen people. It's not written to anybody and everybody else. So that's the first mistake that they make thinking that, okay, they can apply the scripture to anybody and everybody else. You cannot, I mean, you can try, but it ain't going to work. That's why when Howard Shaw said when he comes back, Folks going to come up to him. He's going to say, I never knew you. <laughs> because he only knows Israel. And so the children of Israel have to have faith, have to believe the gospel of the kingdom. And so if you don't have faith, you're just considered a, a child of the flesh, just like Ishmael. They which are of the... They which are the ch children of the flesh, these are not the children of God. Ishmael was born of the flesh of Hagar. And so it's talking about him, but it's also talking about all of Israel, the 12 tribes that don't believe the gospel of the kingdom because they're still in the flesh. They don't believe the scriptures. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. And so even though Israel is the children of the promise, they have to have faith. That's the only way to make it into the kingdom of heaven. So that's what these scriptures are talking about. It's talking about having faith in, 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 in the Most High, Yahweh, and that Yahweh Shai, Jesus, is the Messiah of the 12 tribes of Israel. Anything other than that, people are taking the scriptures out of context, trying to make it fit their agenda, their religious agenda, and it doesn't fit. Because Yahweh is Yahweh of Abraham, Isaac, and, and Jacob, who is Israel. So he's Yahweh of Israel. And Yahweh Shai, Jesus, is the Messiah, the Savior of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. The scripture says he came to save his people from their sins, all of the 12 tribes of Israel. So when you read John 3, 16, when it says God, Yahweh so loved the world, he's talking about the 12 tribes of Israel. And people don't like to hear that. Because he said, hey, he said the world. But yeah, he's talking about the 12 tribes of Israel. Now, I know you have a problem with this. I had a problem with it too. Because when someone told me <laughs> that we are Israel, that we are Jews, that was the first time anybody had ever said that to me. And I didn't know how to react. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> And so a lot of you are the same way. This may be the first time that you're hearing that you are Israel, that you are Jews. All of the people that came or in the land of their captivity, that wherever they are, they were brought there in slave ships. You are of the 12 tribes of Israel. In the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin, they were scattered the furthest in all nations on the earth. You are Jews. If you don't believe me, go back and restudy and research the scriptures to see if what I'm saying is true. And so when you read John 3.16, God so loved the world, Yahweh so loved the world, he gave his son. He's talking about only the 12 tribes of Israel. Because the scriptures are written in context. And so when he's talking about world, he's not talking about anybody and everybody in the whole wide world. So go back and re-study and research the scriptures to see if what I'm saying is true. From Genesis to Revelation, the scriptures are only written to the chosen people. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Romans 9 and 24, even us, whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Again, the Apostle Paul is talking to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. The Apostle Paul himself is a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. He is a Jew. The southern kingdom, which consists of Judah and Benjamin, were called Jews. He said, even us whom he hath called. He called all of the twelve tribes of Israel his own. We're his people. <laughs> all of the twelve tribes of Israel. That's it. He's not the pe he's not Yahweh of everybody else. Of all the other nations. So he says, not of the Jews only. So when you say Jews only, he's talking about the southern kingdom. Judah and Benjamin are called Jews. Not all 12 tribes of Israel are Jews. That's what people don't understand. Because your 501c3 corporations, pastors, preachers, and teachers of the Antichrist church system have lied to you. And lumped all 12 tribes of Israel as Jews. That's not true. All 12 tribes of Israel are not Jews. Only the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin are Jews. But also of the Gentiles. He's not talking about anybody and everybody else in the whole wide world. He's only talking about the 10 tribes of the northern kingdom of Israel that are scattered. They are no longer being referred to as Israel. Or Ephraim, they are being referred to as Gentiles. Go back, restudy, and research the scriptures to see if what I'm saying is true. Don't just take my word for it, but I'm 100% correct. <laughs> Hallelujah. All the scriptures are written to the 12 tribes of Israel. It's not written to anybody and everybody else. Hallelujah. Verse 30. What shall we say then? That the Gentiles which follow not after righteousness, have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. So he's talking about the ten tribes of the northern kingdom coming into the faith of, of Yahweh being the Messiah of Israel. He said that the Gentiles, that's who he's talking about, the ten tribes of the northern kingdom of Israel which are scattered which follow not after righteousness, they, they were sinning. They stopped circumcising, stopped keeping the law, was serving devils. So the Most High scattered them among the, the Japhet Gentiles as a vessel of no pleasure. Go read the book of Hosea. <laughs> and he said, they have attained righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. They're hearing the gospel of the kingdom that Yahweh Shai, Jesus, is the Messiah. And the ten tribes of the northern kingdom are starting to believe the gospel of the kingdom and come into the faith. And so that's who he's talking to. That's who he's talking about. He's not talking about anybody and everybody else in the whole wide world. If you think that, then you've been deceived. Verse 31, Romans 9 and 31. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, hath not attained to the law of righteousness. So now he's getting back to the Jews, the, the southern kingdom, Judah and Benjamin. He's calling them Israel. That's the context. And so people see Israel, and now they think, See, he's talking about all Israel. He said Israel. No, he's only talking about the southern kingdom in this context. Because only the southern kingdom are, can be called Israel. The northern kingdom is no longer being called Israel. <laughs> They're being called Gentiles or Greeks or uncircumcision. So when he says, but Israel, he's only referring to the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin. The, 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 the tribe of Judah and Benjamin, the southern kingdom. He said, but Israel, which follow after the law of righteousness, has not obtained the law of righteousness. Because a lot of the southern kingdom, Judah and Benjamin, are caught up in Judaism, the Jews' religion. 
So Judaism 